Okay, so Tesla has been going up nicely in the past few days and this is amazing. And uh, if you are one of these guys that are worried about a pullback over here, about a correction, maybe it could lose the 1K again. Well, I think you are right in being worried, but I have some nice technical reasons to believe that this is not going to be the end of the world. In fact, this would be even a nice and good opportunity to buy Tesla and I am going to explain to you guys why. In this video, we are going to focus on Tesla and uh, I will share my own insights regarding price action and technical analysis on Tesla. And uh, if you are already my subscriber, you know that we have been nailing some very nice movements on Tesla recently. We nailed basically everything in Tesla. So I think I deserve your support, your like button, okay? Please click on the like button. If you are not my subscriber yet, if you are new in this channel, I invite you to join your community because here, again, you will only find good content about technical analysis, price action, and my own thoughts and insights on Tesla and other stocks as well. So I invite you to join our community because probably you are going to like this video. I'm sure you are going to like this video. So let's take a quick look at the markets right now. Uh, before we talk about Tesla, I have some very nice information to share with you guys. First, let's take a look at the S&P on the S&P index over here. It's doing a new record high. Uh, last week, we closed it at a record high and right now we are actually breaking a new record high again. And guys, this is, this is just a natural movement because the S&P is in a crystal clear bull trend. First, what defines a bull trend? Bull trends are defined by this movement. Higher highs, higher lows, okay? This movement, this N, this N letter over here, N of Nathan. My name is Nathan, by the way, I think I didn't introduce myself. My name is Nathan, welcome to the Finance Hydro channel. But this movement over here is a trait of a bull trend, okay? Higher highs, higher lows. And according to Dow's theory, trends persist until a crystal clear reversal occurs. Do we see any clear reversal occurring over here? No, in fact, it is doing new record high, so it is just behaving according to the technique. The S&P is doing higher highs, higher lows. Bull trend. The Nasdaq index is not doing a higher high, higher low over here, but uh, in the long term it is, okay? Long term speaking, this is a crystal clear bull trend. In the daily chart, the situation is a little bit messy, but it's still making sense if you look uh, the overall movement over here. We did a classic double bottom chart pattern. Uh, this point over here worked as a very nice support level for the Nasdaq index. Uh, this point at 14 to 11 also worked as a very nice support level. And here's another piece of information to you guys. This point was a top on April 20, on April 21. This point worked as a support once, twice, and now it's, it's going back again. Uh, this, my friends, is a classic example of the polarity principle in technical analysis. Remember, the price, uh, the market has memory, and the only way this memory is going to affect the actual movement on the stocks is by the price. And this price level was meaningful for the Nasdaq. And that's why it was a top level over here, support level, one, two times, and then it, I'm so sorry, it was a resistance twice in the past, right? Two times in the past, two times in the future. Remember, previous tops are going to work as future support levels in the future and vice versa, okay? Previous supports might work as resistances if the supports are lost in the future. So. This is the principle of polarity in technical analysis. Keep this information in your heads. Uh, what defines a bull trend? Higher highs, higher lows, and the principle of polarity, okay? This, keep, keep this information in mind. Now, when we look at the EV industry in the US, uh, we see that the Chinese companies are, are the losers today. 
Neo dropping 1.67, losing support levels. There is still hope for it. I think it's going to do an inverted head and shoulders chart pattern over here. But again, who am I to decide if this, is, this pattern is actually going to be triggered? Xpeng is having a rough time over here near the IMA, the, the 21 exponential moving average. And Li is also having a very hard time around its IMA. Okay, so the Chinese companies are all having a, a very rough time right now. However, the US companies are doing amazingly well, if you ask me. Rivian going up 9% today, 9%, that's incredible. If you ask me, Rivian might not look as strong as Tesla, but this is very deceiving because since its bottom, it's gone up almost 20% since this bottom a few days ago. So it is very strong, okay? This is a fact. Rivian is looking very strong. In the weekly chart, it's uh, last week it did a hammer pattern, now it's going up. Okay, cool. Uh, Lucid, it seems it actually found a support level over here. And uh, right now it is trying to react. In the weekly chart, it seems the EMA is also going to work as a support level for Lucid. So it seems it is doing just fine. I think the EV industry is going to perform nicely, uh, at least the American companies in the US. But regarding Tesla, Tesla seems to be an, an, an exception over here, okay? Because it's gone up so strongly. However, if you pick from the very bottom to the very top, we are talking about 26% upside potential. So see, this is why Rivian is so deceiving, okay? It is very deceiving. Uh, Tesla seems, seems to be so much more incredible, but uh, the actual movement is quite the same. And uh, I was, since the very first beginning, I was honest with you guys, Tesla is the main star over here, is the main, uh, is, is the most interesting EV stock, to, uh, EV stock to invest right now. And uh, let's start our analysis by doing a multi time frame analysis. Uh, do you guys remember our theory, our bullish thesis about uh, on the gap reversal ritual over here? Tesla completed our bullish thesis with astonishing precision. We had a runaway gap, common gap, an exhaustion gap, another exhaustion gap, and then Tesla triggered a bullish chart pattern, and that was the last trigger we needed for Tesla. Because as, as I told you guys, okay, the gap reverse ritual is a very strong chart pattern. It never, never failed before. I, I At least I never seen this failing before, okay, in my humble opinion. and. Uh, However, we must see a good bullish chart pattern before we actually jump into any conclusion, okay? And this island reversal chart pattern was our lead. It did this island reversal, it gapped it up over here, it filled this gap, making it an exhaustion gap as well, triggered the bullish pattern, and in one single bullish leg, it filled it all of its previous gaps, it hit our target at 1067, and right now, it is even above our target. So that's incredible, that's simply incredible. That's, maybe it's the beginning of a new reversal, uh, bullish reversal pattern in Tesla. However, let's talk about this a little bit later. First, do you guys remember the principle of polarity in technical analysis? This red line over here, was broken today, and right now, if you ask me, if Tesla corrects, this red line is going to work as a support level for us in the future. So even if Tesla corrects, I do not believe this is going to be the end of the world, all right? I don't believe this is, that Tesla is going to crash again from here. No, I realistically speaking, I don't believe this is going to happen, but uh, this red line is a very nice uh, support candidate in the future, and that's very good for us. Also, the EMA is going up nicely. At one point, it's going to catch up with the price. I guys, I can guarantee to you that uh, at one point, Tesla will correct, okay? This is this is going to happen. Uh, sooner or later, Tesla will correct for sure. The question is, uh, how much could this correct? Okay, this red line is a very nice candidate. 
But what if Tesla loses this red line or even the EMA in the one hour chart? After all, Tesla is quite volatile. The Nasdaq is not trading near record highs again. So maybe it's going to lose momentum, right? Yes, you're right. Maybe this is going to happen. In that case, I like to use, to use Fibonacci. If Tesla corrects from here, for instance, we have three other support levels to work with. The 38.2%, the 50%, and the 61.8%. I do not believe we are going to retest the 61.8% retracement because this, this pullback would be very sharp. We would lose too many support levels, including uh, the previous two Fibonacci retracements, the EMA and this red line. So I think the 61.8% is quite unrealistic. What's more, the 1K is very close to the 50% Fibonacci retracement, the 1K level. And we all know that 1K is the most symbolic price level on Tesla. So I believe in the worst case scenario, we are going to correct to the 50% retracement, meaning the 1K again. And that's how I see Tesla right now. Even if it does a pullback, I still see it above the 1K. That's my humble opinion as a trader, as an investor. Now continuing our multi-time frame analysis. If you look at the daily chart, guys, indeed, this is the best place for Tesla to correct right now, okay? I mean, this is the second best place for Tesla to correct. The best place was at the red line over here, okay? So, since we broke this resistance, all right, now we have another resistance. If Tesla, if tomorrow Tesla does any bearish candlestick pattern over here, maybe this is going to be much more than enough for us to see an actual uh, correction over here. But again, I do not believe it's going to correct too much. What's more, the EMA in the daily chart is at 1017 right now. So this is going to be another support level for Tesla. So if Tesla corrects in this way, I think this is going to be even beneficial, even an opportunity to buy because that would be an opportunity for Tesla to resume the bullish momentum it had been since uh, May 21, okay? Again, what is a bull trend it is a series of higher highs, higher lows. Recently, Tesla did higher, uh, lower highs, lower lows. But again, I think that was just a pullback to the strongest support level in Tesla, which is this green area over here. As I told you guys in our Friday's video two weeks ago, I believe, I gave to you guys five technical reasons to believe why this was the strongest support level in Tesla. And uh, it was a very good video. I really recommend you guys watching it. Uh, it was a very nice video, very well fundamented on technical analysis. And uh, this support level worked amazingly well. We nailed this movement with astonishing precision. That was phenomenal. And this is why we see a series of lower highs, lower lows, in the daily chart. It was, in the end, just a pullback to this area in the weekly chart. That's how I see Tesla. Right now, we are doing something like a flag pattern on it. And uh, if we see a correction, again, that would be a very nice opportunity to buy because it would be an opportunity for Tesla to do this. A lower high, I'm so sorry, a higher low and a higher high, breaking the previous top, resuming the bullish thesis, the bullish momentum, and filling this gap at 12.08, which is my target for a quite a long time right now, but I firmly believe this gap is going to be filled. Remember, gaps work as magnets in the future. So, my friends, this is my bullish thesis on Tesla. Uh, this is my target right now, my new target. Uh, this is my mid long term target, of course. My short term target was uh, the 1068 over here, 1067. This target was already reached, so okay, good, very good. We nailed it. We nailed it, this movement. Now, what's next for us? 1208. If Tesla is going to fill this gap, doing a pullback before or after that, I don't know. I have not a clue. Uh, again, Trading is reactive, it's not predictive. 
So let's just follow Tesla's movement with caution, with calm, just like we, just like we always did, right? Let's always calm down and look at the situation how it is, not what we want to be. So I wish to you all uh, my best regards, my friends. Thank you very much for support. Remember to subscribe at this channel and to click on the like button. Thank you very much. I hope you guys like it, this video. See you guys on Friday on our next video here. I'm so sorry, Wednesday here in the Finance Hydra channel. Bye-bye, stay safe, farewell.